I believe that if President Trump were in office, if he were the president, we wouldn't be in this situation. We wouldn't be having NATO troops increasing in Kosovo. We would have NATO troops decreasing. Matter of fact, when we were negotiating, we envisioned the day that there wouldn't be any NATO troops in Kosovo because there would, they wouldn't be needed. If you want jobs for your young people, if you want to be able to grow your economy and talk about a better life rather than politics all the time, you are going to have to make progress on these issues. I worked eight years at the UN um, previously, and I don't think that the UN works without US leadership. I think there must be US leadership. Look, I, I'm not involved officially anymore. I, I'm on the outside. Uh, I don't work for the US government. I'm in the private sector. I recognize that I do have a voice, and I'm working very hard to try to calm the situation down. I've been to the northern part of Kosovo. I went to the northern part of Kosovo when people told me, don't go, it's very unsafe. I went by myself without security, and everything was fine. I had a nice lunch. I listened to the people. And I said to uh, the U.S. ambassador to Kosovo after that day when I saw him, why aren't you going? Why aren't you going? You should be here too. And I get to critique my government as an American uh, because I, I think these issues are very important. It's very simple. What President Trump believed is that uh, the two parties need to uh, talk about the economy, growing jobs, and helping young people stay in this region. And we thought that the best way to do that was through American leadership, have the Americans take the lead. The Biden administration believes that the Europeans should take the lead and that the Americans should take a step back and that we should not be leading on this. And I think you can just see the difference. Which, which way has been better? Again, I believe that President Trump's way uh, is much better for not only the people of Serbia, the people of Kosovo, the people of Albania, the entire Balkan region benefits. I've been very clear on uh, Mr. Kurti uh, that I don't believe that there is an issue that has come forward from America, from an American president, that he's been supportive of. I think he's been against every single issue we've brought forward. I've been very critical of him to say uh, in past agreements, there's many, many agreements where he is supposed to put uh, elections forward and call for elections. He's supposed to create the uh, Association of Serb Municipalities. That has been in many agreements. Why he isn't doing that, I don't understand. I think the international community needs to be much tougher on him for not abiding by his commitments.